welcome. Welcome to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion, and today I have a really great in-depth tutorial to share with you on how you do photo transfer. I know this might seem like an intimidating craft, but it's really easy to do, and I'm gonna share with you all of the tips and tricks. With photo transfer, you can take color copies of your photographs, and with the Mod Podge photo transfer formula, that's important, this is the photo transfer formula, I'm going to show you how you can transfer those pictures right onto fabric. This is such a fun technique. If you've got pictures documenting fun events or you're looking for a Mother's Day gift or something like that, a teacher gift, this is a really cool idea. All right, let's dive into all of the tips and tricks for photo transfer. Mod Podge Photo Transfer works on a variety of surfaces. You can use it on wood, glass, tin, and fabric. Today, we're gonna concentrate on fabric. Pre-washed 100% cotton fabrics work best. For this technique, you will not be using actual photographs. You will be making color copies of your photographs on a dry toner printer, or sometimes called a laser printer. You can find these at stores like Kinko's and Staples. Inkjet prints do not work well with this project. I'm using Mod Podge Photo Transfer Medium. This is not regular Mod Podge, it's specifically for transferring photos. If your photo has printed words, you should use a reverse or mirror image of the photo. Once you've created your laser copy, you're gonna go ahead and cut out the image. For this, I'm using the four squares together and I'm cutting away the white edge. If I were to leave that white edge there, that would transfer also. So you wanna make sure you trim just to the areas that you want to have transferred. I'm lining my bag with a little piece of wax paper. Once this project's finished, it will be hand washable and line dry. I have my space prepped with a little wax paper behind my project and I'm ready to go. I'm going to squirt out a pretty decent amount of the Mod Podge photo transfer onto the top of my laser copy. That's directly onto the printed portion. You can see that I'm going to smooth this out with my paintbrush. I'm covering the whole entire image from edge to edge with the photo transfer medium. Don't worry if it looks messy here, we're gonna smooth those out. Once the whole thing is covered, I like to take my brush and I go in one direction to smooth all of those brush strokes out. And then I do the reverse, I go the opposite direction and smooth those brush strokes out. The reason why I like to do this on wax paper is because you can easily lift the image up off of the wax paper just by peeling the wax paper back. Now, once you have it lifted up, you may need to do a touch up here and there by adding a little bit more photo transfer. Remember, wherever you have the photo transfer, that's where your image is gonna transfer. Then you'll just place your photo transfer side down onto your fabric surface make sure you put the photo transfer side down. Then you're gonna smooth with your fingers. You don't need to press too hard, just lightly smooth it and make sure all of the edges are sealed down. If you get any photo transfer over the sides, just go ahead and wipe it with a damp cloth while it's still wet. Then you're gonna set this aside and let it dry for 24 hours. Make sure you wait the full 24 hours. After 24 hours, you'll be ready to remove the paper layer. You're just going to use plain tap water and a sponge for this. This next step you will repeat three times. You will begin by dampening the sponge and placing it onto the paper just to lightly dampen the paper. Then work in a swirling motion, pressing very gently to start removing the paper. You will see that it will start to come up very easily. Thank you. 
Once the first layer of paper is removed with the damp sponge and swirling motion, you're going to set it aside and let it dry for about two hours. After two hours, you will see that some of that paper has come back. You will repeat this process two more times after this. You will do this a total of three times or until all of the paper is removed. But in my experience, it takes about three times to get all of the paper off. This is my bag after three times of removing the paper and you can see that I've got really crystal clear images there and no paper left on the design. I love this technique. It is such a fun way to make a personalized gift. Just remember, use those color copies, use a damp sponge and don't press too hard. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this photo transfer tutorial. I know you might have lots of questions. Don't worry about that. Just add your questions to the comments down below and we'll make sure that we get them answered. The two most important things is that you're going to be using the Mod Podge photo transfer formula, not the regular Mod Podge for this. And you're going to have your photographs color copied. I prefer a laser copy and I get that done at my local copy shop for about a buck a sheet. Look at how cute these turn out and I can't wait to see what you make. So make sure you use those hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts so I can see all of your photo transfer projects. I'll be back here next week with another fun project to share with you. And until then, have a super crafty week. Bye.